Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Illblurmatic, Matic, Matic, Matic. It's the illest blur in the land. Welcome back to Illblurmatic. Welcome back, Legends. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing. Let's get into today's new video. Today's new video is something that um is very interesting. You'll learn some things, but let's talk about it. Uh, Disney's new strategy for this year but also Disney laying off more employees at Pixar Studios. Um, honestly, uh, Disney seems like they realized that last year wasn't a great year for them money-wise. They had a hard time financially making money uh, as a company. And I think Disney realized like we got to figure out a way to make some more money. Uh, we lost, they lost 2 million subscribers on their Disney Plus platform, which is probably the biggest L for them when it came to the streaming numbers. Uh, they probably were looking to gain more subscribers, maybe 3 million, 4 million probably. And with them losing 2 million subscribers, it's like, well, y'all might need to figure out a new strategy. So the strategy Bob Iger already presented before. He wants to uh, cut down on spending costs for movies and TV shows. And you know what? That could be hit or miss. That could sometimes work for a movie or TV show. I think it just depends on the movie genre. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that may help it because maybe you're putting out too much content when it comes to releases. Uh, and even streaming. I mean, streaming, sometimes you go to a streaming platform, right? And I know we all do it. Uh, we see stuff on there. Well, we don't even watch. You know what I'm saying? There's stuff that you enjoy on the streaming platform. There are things you do not enjoy on the streaming platform. Now, the next part of this strategy is the most smart move. Uh, Disney finally acquired Hulu this year quietly. Shh. <laughs> They've been keeping quiet. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> but we all know that Disney bought the remaining half from NBC. Uh, the 33% stock that they have within the actual Hulu, which is smart because Hulu is uh, still a US based app. Disney Plus is in other territories on Earth that you can probably go and watch Disney Plus at. Hulu is not. Hulu is only USS, yeah, US based, excuse me. And now they have to figure out how can we generate money to make more money on Hulu. Hulu ain't no million or billion dollar app, but it can be in the next couple years, right? So I think what they're doing now, I've seen it. You're going to have Disney, Hulu shows. Like they're going to be both. So you can either watch it on Disney or you can watch it on Hulu. And also they have brought in another um, plan where you can watch Disney, Hulu, ESPN. Uh, and I think it's smart. I think Disney knows like some of us are in it for ESPN. Some of us are in it for Disney. Some of us are in it for Hulu or Disney and Hulu. Uh, and they said, let's see if we can make more money on the streaming side of things because we have been struggling to stay afloat when it comes to making money overall for this company. Now, let's talk about Pixar. <laughs> um, the thing is with, with uh, Pixar, uh, I hate that it happened again. Um, it, it's unfortunate. Uh, Pixar last year lost employees. Uh, you know, from Disney, Disney is the one that did the layoffs again, like they did last year. Uh, and it's suspected that Disney is going to lay off more people again this year. Um, it's disappointing. I mean, Pixar was their, their most successful movie, uh, when it came to Pixar was Elemental. Elemental did extremely well. Uh, it took some time for it to do well because it struggled at some point in the box office with some of the other summer competition in the box office. Uh, but to see that it did well on Disney Plus, uh, and then eventually did well in theaters shows you that Pixar is going in a in a different direction when it comes to their movies. That's what I've been kind of noticing. And maybe this is the risk that they needed. 
But now it's kind of like, well, Pixar is in another bind. They're going to lose more employees. Last time they lost um, the executives for the Buzz Lightyear movie that came out. And they also lost someone from Toy Story as well. Uh, the only downside that I see with this is if Pixar, like I said, is getting this layoff again, we're going to lose original members that were working on some of these movies. Um, and that's kind of going to be a problem because uh, some of these franchises on Pixar are very successful. And now you're letting go of certain key members that worked on these production projects animation wise. Um, now we have to worry about who you guys are going to keep because you may be getting rid of people that may have been the foundation for a Pixar movie success, depending on the Pixar franchise when it comes down to it. Uh, but I get it. Bob Iger had to make some tough choices as a CEO and maybe that's what it was. I mean, he did that last year, like I said, with Marvel and Pixar. Uh, and I think even Lucasfilm too, by the way. And things happen. So you guys tell me in the comments, uh, are you surprised by Disney's new strategy to make money? And my next question for you guys is, how do you feel about the layoff at Pixar? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, it's a blur. Living the word, guys. Thank you so much for commenting like and subscribing also fully watching the video guys and also i'm trying to reach that 3,000 watch hours guys so keep in mind go check out some of the content have a wonderful day and i'm out <laughs>